Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another Hardcore Iron Man Progress video. And we finished off the last video finally getting the trident from the little baby K Krakens at 346 KC. So it was a little bit over the drop rate, but not terribly bad. But we've got some kills left on the Kraken task, so we're going to head over to the boss Kraken now to finish up the task and take on the most insane Hardcore Iron Man PVM challenge in the game. Let's get started. Alright, so we got all the stuff already. Didn't have to buy any more runes. We have all the runes we need, so let's uh, charge it up right there. Beautiful fully charged trying of the seas feels amazing all right here's what the setup is looking like uh everything's like all right but the maple shield this has to go to make a u shield which is the next step up we need 72 fletching and we are 4k under 4k to the next level so we actually didn't really make too many darts like we should have been making this whole time so we're gonna finish making some darts very quickly get this level make the u shield then we'll be set to go all right, here we go, super fast, and two more. That should be 72 fletching. Now we can make the U-Shield. There we go, the upgrades are coming in. The beautiful U-Shield with this amazing fletching XP. It takes too long to make, and boom. Upgrades have been made. We also need arrows for the boss because you use arrows to spawn it with the little tentacle thing. So we're gonna buy a bunch of bronze arrows. They are way overpriced, three GP each. No, it's actually a fair price. We'll stock up on these. And then we should be set. All right, here we go. Back in here. We are never, ever killing these freaking little boys ever again. I'm, oh god, they're so awful. The drops are absolute trash. But we can enter the private crevice for uh, 25k. Not even gonna bother getting the uh, non instance one. I also believe in the instance one, you can drop your items and they stay on the ground for like half hour or an hour or something. So we don't have to worry about like the juggling sharks, which I hate doing. But um, hopefully we don't die and get DC'd on this first kill. I'm expecting either the pet or like three back-to-back -back tridents once we start doing this build. Let's get right into it. Oh my god, the toughest PVM boss challenge in the game. Looking like an absolute chad with this U-Shield right here. We should probably attack it. We got we got the auto retaliate off so we don't mess up. First kill, what do we get? <laughs> got the bucket. <laughs> I know exactly how this is going to go now. Nothing. So the first kill, we got a bucket. Second kill, five sharks. Third kill, nothing. Wow, this is wonderful. Oh, seven kills in, magic seed. Okay, okay. No way, another magic seed. Seven KC magic seed, nine KC magic seed. What? Sanfu serums, we need those for uh, for raids and for, uh, what's the other thing? For DKs, once you go to DKs. All right, so 26 KC of Kraken is done. Here's the charges that we use. Also, probably should equip this back again. Um, so the good thing about Kraken is that you need fire runes Chaos runes, death runes, and GP, which you get everything except for fire runes, but like the runes that you get, the chaos runes and death runes are what you need to charge the trident, so like it works out perfectly. It's like it was made for the trident. It's funny how things work out like that. So the trident goes through a lot of fire runes, but fortunately from Slayer, we've got a lot of fire runes built up, so I'm not too worried about running out anytime soon. In fact, this is kind of good because we have an excuse to use them for something. I forgot to heal up, but we got a dwarf, and now we can eat the kebab to. <laughs> That's perfect. Oh wow, the game loves me right now. I'm feeling the pet next kill. First kill in a magic seed. That's the third magic seed in 27 KC. Hold up, I have to look up what this drop rate is. The magic seed is 1 out of 128. And we got 3 already. This is the drop I was waiting for. This is where we get the construction gains from. Now we're going for a uh, 99 construction up next. All from Kraken, trust me. Dude, this is so perfect. 50 raw sharks on the last kill. Check this out. If you go to the bank... Take a look at how many sharks we got left. All right, so type in sharks. So we're almost out of sharks now, but luckily we got uh, heaps of raw sharks we can cook. <laughs> oh, oh, let's go. Still in the Kraken gear for good luck. There we go. <laughs> the three DDSs again, man. Another little life pro tip here. When you go to the Kraken boss and you're bringing your bow, you could drop it because in the, your, in the, um, in the instance, it stays for half an hour, so you can bring one extra food before you equip your bow and leave it on the ground, and then pick it up when you need it. Okay, so we're almost out of food on here, and a couple days ago, I was fishing the Karambwanjis, so we can eventually catch Karambwans, which we're gonna do now, because we have like no food left in the bank, or no sharks, that is. We have a bunch of raw sharks, but we don't have the cooking level to like cook them all the time properly, so we're gonna fish a bunch of Karambwans, because they heal 18 each. I was buying some cheesy potatoes from the Warriors Guild, which heals 16 each, but Karambans are better, and uh, I could just AFK them while I edit or something. But yeah, so if you take a look at the food we have in here, this is all the food we got, so nothing really too good. The sharks are almost out. 
Uh, so if we take a look at the Karamans, we got we got uh, pretty much none. This is the second inventory of doing them. Uh, we can posit that in there. So we're gonna catch these for a while. Probably get the cooking gauntlets because we only have the uh, the goldsmith gauntlets. I never bought the other ones, so we'll probably just unlock all three of them and uh, use the cooking gauntlets. Get some cooking XP. Maybe get some fishing levels and get a lot of food. Then go back to Kraken. All right, so we just finished doing one hour of fishing the Karambans, and I just want to show you the XP rates very quickly. We've got in about 28k XP per hour is what we're averaging. So obviously we can get much more XP doing like barb fishing or something else, but uh, this is what we're doing. We're gonna stock up on Karambwans. We're still gonna end up getting the cooking XP from it, so it's it's worth it. Just fished a bunch of Karambwan. Now the only gauntlets that we have from the family crest quest in the bank are the goldsmith gauntlets. But if we do the family pest mini quest, that's quite the rhyme there. Uh, if we do this, we can pay 500k, and that way we can have all three of the gauntlets at once. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and get the cooking gauntlets. And after talking to this third brother here, that should be the end of the thing. Now we just go back to the dude in Varak, pay the 500k, and uh, take a little dent in the cash stack, but it's totally gonna be worth it. Yeah, this dude, the dude with the, the champion's cape, the one cape that's uh, very, very beautiful. <laughs> Alright, just uh, take my money, 500k, and give it to him, and he should give us the gauntlets. Oh, I guess we have to go back to the brothers to grab the gauntlets? Making us run all over the place, huh? It looks nice having it greened out over here, but okay, we're at Caleb now, grab the gauntlets from him, there we go. And we'll never be charged ever again to grab more gauntlets. Any of the three types, even. Yeah, here we go. So you don't stop burning Karamans until level 99 cooking. But if you have the gauntlets plus using the Hosea's Kitchen, which gives you a lower burn rate on these ovens specifically, you stop burning at level 93, so hopefully that'll prevent a bit less of them from burning, and we'll cook as many as possible for now. Oh, so I finished Taibo Wani Trio. I thought that's all you had to do, but apparently there's someone you talk to after finishing the quest that allows you to properly cook Karambwan. Otherwise, you can only cook these uh, poison Karambwan. So let's go talk to uh, Tinze, apparently. All right, here's Tinze and Taibo Wanai, and uh, I guess he's going to teach us how to properly cook the Karambans. And, okay, oh, and we got 5k cooking XP as well. And now we are properly cooking them. Apparently, that was a uh, hard task. And this last Karambwan is going to be level 83 cooking, and we haven't even burned any so far. I thought we'd burn, like, maybe 5 or 10% of them, but nope, not a single one. So we got the U shield. Now it's time to upgrade it into a uh, blue Dragonhide shield. So we got to make some uh, mithril, oh god, make some mithril nails. And then, <laughs> put me in the vid, please. <laughs> Here in the vid, sir. And uh, we'll use those on the shield, and that should make a blue dragon head shield. Yeah, there's the upgrade. Awesome. Now we're looking like an absolute Chad. Blue's my favorite color, by the way. Here is 100 KC of the Kraken boss, and uh, no pet yet. Game is literally rigged against the hardcore Iron Man. Feels bad. Freaking gem flex. I just got here. And I remember to check the trident as I went in here, and the charges we got left is 49, 48 charges. <laughs> Rest in peace, 25k. <laughs> this is the best time to get sharks. We have barely enough death runes to charge it up, and they're like almost all from Kraken too, so that's perfect. All right, so this should be the last kill of the task, unless the bracelet is slower. Yeah, it's the last kill. Nothing good from it. I'm thinking now though, we got the trident, we got the Mortain Legs 3. I'm thinking we should head back to Barrows finally. This is like the perfect time to do it. We are all set, we got everything we need, we can do it way more efficiently than we could before. So let's gear up and get right into it. Hopefully, get a, uh, some Aram's pieces or some Kirill's pieces. That's pretty much what I'm hoping for. And with that being said, I do hope that you enjoyed today's video. I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you again tomorrow.